Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all everything that I eat in a day for healthy, clear, and glowing skin. This video was actually inspired by all of you all and I'm not trying to sound conceited in any way when I say this, but I have noticed that I do receive a lot of comments in the comment sections of my videos of people complimenting me on my skin. Now, personally, I will be the first person to admit that my skin is not 100% perfect and it definitely has its ups and downs, though I do appreciate all of your sweet and positive comments. And I was curious to see what foods were actually good to eat for our skin, so I decided to do a little research of my own and I found out that most of the top recommended foods for skin health are actually foods that I consume on a daily basis, so I must be doing something right. <laughs> so if you're interested to see what I eat and what I would recommend to eat in a day for healthy skin, Stay tuned. So before I actually eat anything at all, I try to start out my days with drinking one liter of water and throughout the day I usually drink an additional liter to a liter and a half as well. Now I know that water doesn't really count as a food, but I do believe that staying hydrated is as equally as important as the foods that you are putting into your body. So go drink eight ounces of water right now. Anyways, for breakfast I had some blueberry oatmeal and this recipe is so delicious but it is super simple to make as well. All that I did was put one cup of oats, one tablespoon of ground flaxseed, half of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and about one third of a cup of frozen blueberries into a pot with two and a half cups of water. If you want your oats to be a little creamier, you could use plant milk as well. And if you want them to be a little bit sweeter, you could add some coconut sugar, some maple syrup, or even a mashed banana. But personally, I just don't like my oats to be too sweet, so that's why I didn't add it in. Then I just mixed all of that up and I cooked it over medium heat on my stove until it was a thick and creamy consistency. I then poured that into a bowl and topped it with some more blueberries, some chopped almonds, a sprinkle of cacao nibs, and some blackstrap molasses. Now not only is this breakfast super satisfying and filling, but it is also pretty darn good for your skin. Oats are a great source of fiber, but they are also a good source of zinc and many other vitamins and minerals. Zinc acts in your body to help fight off infection and promote the growth of new cells. Blueberries and other berries are a great source of antioxidants, which can help fight chronic inflammation and aging. Flax seeds are high in ALA, which is a precursor for DHA, which is very anti-inflammatory. They also contain lignans, which can bind to estrogen receptors in your body to help control your hormones. Almonds are high in vitamin E, which protects your cell membranes from damage. And finally, blackstrap molasses contains lactic acid, which has been shown to promote and accelerate the healing and growth of damaged tissues. Okay, so I am currently in the process of making my lunch. I chopped up two small sweet potatoes, coated them in some rosemary and garlic powder, and then put them on a nonstick baking sheet and put that into my oven at 420 degrees Fahrenheit. So those are probably gonna take about 35 to 40 minutes to cook in the oven. So I thought in the meantime, I would share my topical skincare routine with you all, because while I think the food and water that you put into your body is incredibly important, I do think the stuff you put directly on your skin can have an effect as well. So I actually already have a skincare routine video on my channel. I will link that right here for those of you who are interested in seeing exactly how I wash my face. I wash my face twice a day, but I did change one small thing and I just wanted to briefly go through the products that I use with you guys. So I pulled them all out and I have them right here and I'm just going to quickly run through that. So the bulk of my skincare products actually come from a brand called Osea, and they are based in California. I use three of their products every single day. I really, really like this brand because all the products that they use are organic and they don't have any harsh chemicals. And additionally, it is a 100% vegan and cruelty-free brand, which are obviously two things that I love to support as vegan. So this is their Ocean Cleanser, and I wash my face every morning with this. As you can tell, I have used up quite a bit. And then to moisturize my face in the mornings, I use the Osea Atmosphere Protection Cream. I really like this because I can tell my skin is being moisturized, but it doesn't feel really heavy. And then in the evening, I just use this generic like Black Sea Mud Soap on my face, and I use an exfoliating brush. But then to hydrate, I use the Osea Essential Hydrating Oil. It comes in this little tube here, and it's actually a roll-on. 
so you just can roll on your face and then rub it in and I really like this I think it moisturizes my face really really well in addition to that I use two more products I use this toner every morning and night it's by the body shop it's a tea tree toner I'm not particularly attached to it but I'm going to continue to use it until it runs out and then I also use this eye cream by Acure I put this on every evening um, under my eyes like right here just to keep them moisturized and yeah that's pretty much my skincare routine like I said if you want to know the exact specifics of it I would suggest checking out that video that I just mentioned but other than that these are the products that I really love and enjoy so I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing with the rest of my lunch right now because I don't feel like setting up the camera again once it's completely ready. So after the sweet potatoes are roasted, I'm essentially just going to be making a giant salad with the roasted sweet potato chunks in it. I already raided my fridge so I know I'm also going to be adding some chopped red onion as well as some fresh corn and some sauerkraut that I just made if you want to see a recipe video for it. I'll link it up here, as well as some cucumber and some tahini and apple cider vinegar as some dressing. And surprise, surprise, this meal is actually awesome for your skin as well. Sweet potatoes are full of protective antioxidants like beta carotene, which is especially active in our skin. These colorful spuds are also high in vitamin A, which is frequently used to treat acne issues. Colorful veggies are full of different phytonutrients, which all help keep your body functioning optimally. They also are a great source of dietary fiber. And finally, greens also contain beta carotene and a decent amount of vitamin C, which can help to fight aging and even your skin tone. So that is it for my lunch, and I guess I will check in with you guys around dinner time. Hello again, so a little bit of an update. I finished my lunch, I went outside to study and get some vitamin D, and then I came back inside and had a little bit of an afternoon snack. I had a glass of my homemade kombucha and two grapefruits. Now I'm going to be having my dinner, which is this epic rainbow bowl of greens, beans, turmeric rice, and lots of veggies and an avocado rose because I'm a little extra. <laughs> so I actually made these homemade refried beans earlier this week. The recipe is from my friends Hannah and Derek's ebook. It's called Epic Instant Pot Vegan Cooking or something like that, but seriously, these are my favorite beans. I've talked about them before on my channel, but it was a really long time ago, but they're my favorites for sure. And then to make this turmeric rice right here, all I did was mix some brown rice, it was a short grain rice, with a fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric and a pinch of freshly ground black pepper. And the black pepper just aids in the absorption of turmeric. But after that, I just added the regular amount of water and cooked the rice according to the package instructions. Once the rice was done, I added it to a bowl of greens and my refried beans. And then I decided to add some freshly chopped cilantro, some tomatoes, some red onion, a few sweet peppers to eat on the side, and then I topped it with my avocado rose that I'm very proud of, but if you're feeling lazy or just like a normal person, you can just chop up an avocado. Now you may think that I've already eaten enough wonderful things for my skin today, but this meal is also great for your complexion. Brown rice, or any whole grain, is a great source of dietary fiber which feeds the good bacteria in our digestive systems and ultimately helps with good digestion and controlling inflammation. Beans are a great source of fiber as well, but it's actually really good to vary your sources of fiber as the diverse bacteria in our guts like all different forms of it. Out of all of the anti-inflammatory foods I've already mentioned today, turmeric is probably the best and it has a ton of other health benefits as well. I try to eat a fourth of a teaspoon every day as Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFact.org recommends. And then finally, avocado contains monounsaturated fatty acids which help to keep your skin hydrated and soft. Particularly, they contain oleic acid which can also help fight redness and inflammation. So that is everything that I ate today for clear and glowing skin. I hope you guys found this video educational and entertaining. I know for me at least it was really interesting to do a little bit of research and find out all these fun facts about food. And basically I feel like it just boils down to fiber and eating lots of plants. So even if you just do those two things, I think you're off to a great start. As always, thank you all so much for watching this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. I will talk to you later. Bye!